In this video, I'm going to look at how you work out the formulae for ionic compounds. So in other words, why is the formula of sodium chloride not NaCl2, but NaCl? Before we start, we need to learn some simple ions. So we've got a table here of some of the ions that you need to know off by heart. So we'll start with sodium. That's a group 1 metal. All group 1 metals form 1 plus ions because they all lose that outermost electron. And so the sodium ion would be Na+. Calcium's in group 2. So it has two outer electrons which it loses. And so it will be Ca2+. So all group 2's do the same thing. Group 3, aluminium, would be Al3+. And then if we move over to group 7, so they've got seven electrons in their outermost shell. They want to gain an electron. So the fluoride ion is F-. Chloride, Cl-. Bromide, Br-. Oxygen's in group 6. So it wants to gain two electrons. So the oxide ion is O2 minus. Nitrogen is in group five. And so nitrogen will gain three electrons and form the N3 minus ion. And notice that's called the nitride ion. And phosphide ions will be P3 minus. The hydroxide ion is a diatomic ion because it contains two atoms and that has an overall one minus charge, so it's OH minus. And the hydrogen ion is H plus. Some polyatomic ions now. So polyatomic just means many atoms in the ion. So the carbonate ion is CO3 overall charge 2 minus sulfate SO4 2 minus nitrate NO3 1 minus phosphate PO4 3 minus and the ammonium ion is NH4 1 plus I'm afraid there's no getting around the fact that you just have to memorise these ions. So what's the formula of calcium bromide? That's the ionic compound formed by calcium and bromine. So the first thing we need to do is work out, well, which ions would we have present? Well, we're going to have the Ca2 plus ion and the Br minus ion. And then we need to work out what ratio of ions is going to give us an overall charge of zero. In other words, we need to cancel out the overall charge. So if you look at it as it is, if you just had one calcium ion for every bromide ion, the charge wouldn't cancel because you've got a two plus charge and a one minus charge. So you need for every calcium ion, you need two bromide ions. So that'll give you an overall two minus charge, which will cancel the two plus charge. And so the formula of calcium bromide is CaBr2. So some for you to try now, and this is where you this is why you need to know your ions, because you're not going to be told which ions are present. You just need to know it from the name of the compound. So if you want to have a go at those, pause the video and then play on when you're ready. So sodium carbonate is Na2CO3. Ammonium sulfate is NH4 in a bracket because we need two of those for every sulfate ion. So it's NH4 twice SO4. Aluminium nitrate is AlNO3 in a bracket three times. Ammonium hydroxide, NH4OH. We just need one of each ion because they have the same 
charge, equal and opposite charge, sorry. Calcium chloride, CaCl2, and aluminium sulfate, Al2, SO4, three times. We needed to get the charges up to six plus and six minus to get them to cancel. We'll just finish by linking what we've done to the structure of ionic compounds. So there's a picture there of a giant ionic lattice for sodium chloride. Remember all ionic compounds form these giant ionic lattices with millions and millions of ions present. But in simple terms, what is the ratio? So the formula tells us the ratio of the ions, not the actual number of ions. What's the ratio of ions to give us that overall zero charge? It's one to one. And so the formula of sodium chloride is NaCl.